السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو سانگ اور آج جو ہمارے گیسٹ ہیں وی ہیو رضا بھائی فرام سیکورٹی رضا بھائی ایکس فاسٹین ایز ویل اینڈ یو نو پاکستان جیسی انڈسٹری میں سائبر سیکورٹی از سم تھنگ دیٹ از آن دا رائز ناؤ اور اسپیشلی کنسڈرنگ فیو انسیڈنٹس جو کہ ریسنٹ ایئرز میں ہوئے آپ کے بینکس وینکس وغیرہ ہے سو وتھ دا ورلڈ ایوالونگ اینڈ ایوری تھنگ کمنگ آن لائن سائبر سیکورٹی اینڈ ڈیجیٹل سیکورٹی از ویری امپورٹنٹ سو فرسٹ آف آل تھینک یو ویری مچ رضا بھائی فار ٹیکنگ اور ٹائم اینڈ فرسٹ آف آل یو آر ورکنگ ان سیکورٹی ایف یو کوڈ انٹروڈیوس سیکورٹی ٹو اس کہ واٹ از اٹ کس ڈومین میں کام کر رہے ہیں So I work as a data scientist with security.ai. It's been a bit more over two years since mm-hmm. I've been here. Uh, I can give you some example about what security is doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you consider data privacy domains, uh, there's an entire wave of personal data protection in globally. Not much in Pakistan, but as you mentioned, there are certain incidents very recently in um, digital banking is there, mm-hmm. where people basically lost their data and just based on that, they lost huge amounts uh, of money as well. So what security basically does is that right now there are compliances that certain companies need to mm-hmm. do in the European Union, in Brazil, in North America. Uh, companies have to be compliant in terms of data privacy. Okay? So right now the situation is that companies do not even know the kind of data they have on people. So I'll give you a base, basic example since we are all from fast, right? So mm-hmm. we took admission in fast, right? Mm-hmm. And we filled up for for admission. Sure. In our course of four years, we filled a plethora of forms, uh, mm. submitted projects and stuff like that. All of them had our personal information, <laughs> whatsoever. Mm. Uh, my father's name, my cell phone number, something like my blood group as well, my address and whatever, right? So I graduated, it's been about five-ish years since I've graduated. So what, what happens if five years later, FAST, the entire system of FAST gets hacked? Say, or let's just say even a single backup server gets hacked. Even fast doesn't know what data they have on me and where does it reside. And mm-hmm. it's an institutional problem. Every single company that is working in this space, which is keeping data, they do not really know where they're keeping. So CRM or tabular data, it's pretty easy. You, you know the kind of customers you have. But some chat transcript your customer service representative had with a customer, on I, I won't be taking company names here so so let's just say any service provider mm-hmm. would have had a customer talking to a customer over chat they would have been keeping those chat transcripts in some form right so what security does is it says that regardless of what data platforms you have we'll be scanning all those and we'll be picking up personal information from there and then we'll be telling you that okay this Raza Abbas this is the person there these are the kinds of information we have on him and regardless of how many reserve buses have graduated from cost so you have a lot of probability mathematics and data science here uh, to be able to figure out the personal information that presides right so uh, abhi and your next fast team to data science ka matlab ایز اے تھرڈ ایئر اسٹوڈنٹ مجھے ایسا لگتا ہے کہ ہمارے کورس اس طرح سے ڈیزائن نہیں ہوئے ہوئے یا پھر ہمیں اس طرح سے پڑھایا نہیں جا رہا کہ یو ایکسپلور مور ریونیوز ان دا سی ایس انڈسٹری تو بہت سارے ہماری آڈینس میں سے بھی سوال تھے اور بہت سارے میں نے اپنے بیچ میں دیکھا ہے دے ڈونٹ ہیو اے کلیئر روڈ میپ کے واٹ ٹو ڈو ابھی تو اگر کسی کا ایم ہے ٹو پرسو ڈیٹا سائنٹسٹ تو اس کے لیے کیا روڈ میپ ہونا چاہیے No university, personally speaking, in Pakistan or anywhere in the world can give you a roadmap. You, you really have to figure it out on your own. Um, and this is how knowledge creation base basically takes place because if everything is set in stone, you cannot really explore new things, right? So if anyone wants to pursue data science, uh, there's one a trend that I've seen uh, very recently in FAST and other universities as well. Any person who's reluctant to code basically turns to a data, data science. Yeah. And then we start comparing data science with data analysis, which is sort of a different thing. And then Power BI comes in and these all these business yeah. intelligence tools. So I'll call a spade a spade, right? So these all business intelligence tools have been there since the 1980s. Sure. The industry is pretty mature in that end. When you talk about data science, the industry is still evolving. Not just the Pakistani industry, but globally. So any person who really wants to go into data science. I think the structures of the courses at FAST here, I've seen the curriculum very recently as well. It's pretty good. 
uh, I, I'll say it's at par uh, with other global solutions. But fact is that the, at what granular level it, it's being taught, that's the problem. So, for example, you're ta taught certain algorithms in mm. third or fourth year, whatever, but are you able to see mathematical details of it? Because in the industry, if you're working on a research and if, if you want to work as a data scientist, mm. then eventually you'll have to go back to your basic as mathematics, statistics, probability. Mm. And this is the place where I think most students do not really craft the situation that they really have to be very good in these areas. And and this is where I think myself included, people lack in this industry, whereby their basics in terms of mathematics is like really strong. Sure. So you must have seen your colleagues as well. You, your batchmates as well. So, uh, we have also talked about the previous companies' ke CEOs. Se baat ki. So we got one th aspect that was uniform amongst all, all the companies that the industry and academia in Pakistan is a gap. Hai ek. <laughs> so what do you think how to bridge that gap? Okay. So I think there is a gap between hmm. industry and academia. But the gap is actually pretty minute if you consider the difference in industry, say engineering industries, uh, say banking, finance or whatever, then the gap they have with their academia and industry is a lot more than the CS uh, universities have. So sure. I'll give you my example. Uh, we at security basically attended one session here when we when FAST was devising curriculum and we had our input on it. And then we basically, we have been in coordination with uh, the faculty here uh, at IBS still uh, when mm -hmm. they were devising their curriculum we met them we talked about certain areas of the curriculum that could be enhanced so I personally feel that it really depends on how much the industry or the folks in the industry are really uh, willing to uh, spend time with the academia mm -hmm. um, there are ways to do it but there's nothing set in this room so basically so I, I do feel that there is a gap but it's pretty minute so Technically, at least in the data science factors, I generally think it's all about the implementation and the basics there. It, it has little to do with the gap in the academia and the industry. Right. So, sir, if you talk about perspective, if a student wants to data science, they are developing an interest. So, what resources are available? Yeah, online or yeah, they are in contact with someone, the courses that you have in Udemy, mm -hmm. courses hota hai. how useful and productive are they? Or then, you have any recommendation that someone wants to learn data science? So, that, <coughs> uh, so that's a very good question. The first thing is that I really always keep stressing this that your bachelor's degree is formulated in such a way that if you do justice with it, I really feel that you'll do amazing. So regardless of not even taking any other additional course. So if you have electives like deep learning, if you have electives like natural language processing or computer vision, neural networks, whatever, if you study that well, we are okay to enter in data science. If you talk about specific books, I think there was a very good resource by NVIDIA whereby they published a book over deep learning, I think, last year or so. It's it's an excellent book for anyone who wants to start from the scratch and wants to build up their skill set in deep learning. I, I think that's an excellent book. But then there's a lot of praise with Udemy, Coursera, hmm. uh, Datacam. I think those are okay, but the fact is that those are all online certifications, right? So as long as your learning is concerned, I'm, you have all the right to do that. But for an employer, I would really not give that much uh, precedence to any online certifications you've got. I, what I really want to see is the projects you've done. So another very good resource to build your career in data science is Kaggle.com. So, so Kaggle basically has certain open projects that you can basically compete in. Some are actually price-based and some are free. So, for example, a student in second year or third year starts developing an interest in Kegel. If they start competing in Kegel competitions and by the fourth year they are able to make it to like say mm. top 25 or even 50, I can guarantee that they'll be easily able to get a job anywhere in the world. I'm not talking about Pakistan right now. So, the point being that no matter what courses you do, unless your implementation details are there for me to see on your GitHub page mm. or Kegel profile or wherever, uh, then it's useless, to be honest. 
सो सर इधर यही बात आती है कि ये गिटअप हो गया या फिर केगल हो गया सो हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट आर दीज फॉर एन एम्प्लॉयर लाइक अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेरा प्रोफाइल ना हो उस पर या मेरी जैसे एक रैंडम सी वी हो सो वुड देर वे डिफरेंस इन योर अप्रोच टू मी एज कम्पेयर टू समन जिसका जो सारी रिसोर्स हैं अच्छा सर आई एड्रेस दिस विद अनदर क्वेश्चन दैट यूजुअली इज दैट डस जीपीए मैटर राइट एग्जैक्टली सो आई विल बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट विद यू आई गेट अ रेज्यूमे विद 3.6 जीपीए और 3.8 जीपीए और गोल्ड मेडल सो फार सो 3.9 आई गिव प्रेसिडेंस टू देम राइट बिकॉज़ आई नो दैट देयर स्किल सेट दे वर एबल टू सिक्योर अ जीपीए रिगार्डलेस ऑफ व्हाटएवर दे डिड बट देन देयर इज अ जीपीए देयर इज अ सीवी व्हिच डजंट हैव द जीपीए सो आई एम ऑटोमेटिकली अज्यूमिंग इट्स बिलो 3 बिकॉज़ दे हैव नॉट रिटन दैट राइट सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली डू आई हैव टू एक्चुअली जज दैट रेज्यूमे एंड कॉल दैट पर्सन फॉर एन इंटरव्यू आई डू नॉट सी एनी प्रोजेक्ट्स देयर even if i see projects there i would want to see the level of code that the person produces so usually when people say does gpa matter yes it does matter for the interview right and whatever you do in interview and later on in your life is up to you the question is how do you plan to that interview because i do not have enough time in my 8 hour work day to interview like three people mm-hmm. i'll be limiting myself to five people may- maybe in a season whereby i'll be interviewing just five people so the question again is who would those five people be so if your gp is low if it's high still put in a github um, uh, profile so that i can see your code but if it's low then definitely there, there's absolutely no other way to go about it and i'm saying this because there's a hell lot of competition in the industry right now there are a lot of universities producing a lot of candidates so and obviously there are a lot of opportunities as well but the kind of opportunities are that actually help you excel are scarce as well right so this is why i feel your github profile or your kegel profile does really matter uh, and does uh, i mean keep up with your low gpa if it is right. technically sound a graduate fast ka जनरली एजम्पन होती है कि फास्ट का जो भी ग्रेजुएट होगा ही बी टेक्निकली वेरी साउंड तो लेकिन एक एम्प्लॉयर के लिए उसकी सॉफ्ट स्किल्स और उसका एटीट्यूड भी इम्पोर्टेंट होगा तो हाउ डज एन एम्प्लॉयर गेज एवरी थिंग to come up with 100% correct answer as long as if their friends have told them what i asked in the previous interview that that's a chance but otherwise can't right what we really see in our culture feedback uh, whether they fit in is their reception to feedback so for example if i tell you your answer is wrong how about you think about it and, and then your communication goes to and fro with me in the interview i'm able to see what kind of a person you are are you receptive to my feedback or not are you thinking out of the box with whatever skill set you have already right so soft skills are very important uh, i'll build up on that there are students of fast who really lack their communication skills and that's a general perception in the space well that as students of a certain university are pretty good in their communication skills but mm-hmm. very bad in technical skills fast produces pretty excellent candidates in technical skills but very bad in, not very bad but usually mm-hmm. there are students who are not good with so their soft skills the concern is that you're not able to project your work better in with your foreign colleagues or with your colleagues if you're not communicative enough right so this is why i feel that soft skills are pretty important so we so, with that now we bring it to an end uh, uh-huh. it's been a great conversation Likewise. thank you very much for taking our time no so with that now we i guess bring it to an end take care love is thank you <clears throat>